So today we're going to talk about the nine ways you can boost your stress tolerance, your ability to tolerate stress and cope with life. If you get highly irritable when you're behind a slow driver, this video is for you. If you work at a daycare center and you're around small children all day long for over eight hours, this video is for you. But before I get started, I want you to note down below in the comment section, how would you rate your stress tolerance right now? Is it high, medium, low? Make a note down below. All right, number one, increase your sleep. If you're not sleeping through the night and waking up feeling refreshed, you're not going to have a lot of patience. You're going to have a short fuse and you're going to be highly irritable. Now, there's many things you can do to improve sleep. Probably the, the biggest thing is to avoid blue light or blue LED light from this thing before you go to bed or your computer or your tablets because that suppresses melatonin between one and three hours. There's many other things. I put a link down below of additional things that you can do but you need more sleep. If you haven't watched my other videos on taking B1 for stress, uh, you're in for a treat because taking nutritional yeast, which is one of the best sources of B1 and other B vitamins, will give you instant relief from stress within minutes. You're gonna feel a sense of relaxation. You're gonna be able to tolerate stress a lot better. I remember in my clinic, I had a husband and wife that were fighting and I put them in separate rooms and I went in there and I gave them some nutritional yeast. And within about 10 minutes, they're in communication, they're holding hands, and they no longer were fighting. So it really works. Number three, low carbs. Now, I wish I would have known this a long time ago because personally, I had a blood sugar problem so bad up and down, and I had a very low tolerance to stress coming from a low blood sugar situation. So going a low carb will fix your blood sugars and stabilize your mood and your tolerance for stress, especially in the morning when you wake up. You may not realize this, but if you feel better when you eat, as far as your mood and your stress tolerance, that means you have a blood sugar issue. If you find that you can't wake up in the morning because you're groggy, that means you have a blood sugar issue. Do the low carb diet. I put a link down below of how to do that. All right, number four, which should be number one, avoid the news, especially bad news, because it's usually false or fake news. The problem with the news is it keeps you in the state of fear, keeps you in the state of stress. You can get physically sick when you're in this fear mode, and it's definitely going to affect your sleep and it's definitely gonna keep you with a very low tolerance to stress. All right, number five, exercise will increase oxygen. It will also help you counter stress. We can never get rid of stress, but we can do things to remove stress from our body, and exercise is a real good way to do it. On the days that I don't exercise, my sleep is not as good, and my tolerance for stress is definitely not as high on the days that I do exercise. All right, number six, magnesium. It's a natural physiological tranquilizer. It actually can help you deal with stress. Um, if you consume at least seven cups of vegetables per day, like a huge salad, that can give you enough magnesium. What's interesting too is spring water, like Pellegrino or mineral water, is loaded with magnesium. And so if you drink that water all day long, you would get you know, several hundred milligrams of magnesium. And it's the type of magnesium that is very bioavailable. Number seven, vitamin D, especially if you can get it from the sun. But if you're consuming cod liver oil or fatty fish or getting it from the sun, vitamin D typically will help decrease depression and anxiety and reduce stress and also help you get into the deeper delta wave, circadian uh, waves of sleep. All right, number eight, ketones. When you go on a ketogenic diet, combining healthy ketosis with intermittent fasting, a lot of positive things will happen. One being an elevation of your emotions, your mood. You'll actually feel a lot more up than down and you'll be able to tolerate stress much better. And your cells actually tolerate stress. You have more stress uh, resistance. 
Last thing, change your environment. Get out in nature. Now, I've had uh, patients go on a vacation, go off their eating plan, and actually lose weight simply because of this change of environment. Getting away from certain stressful people, getting in a new environment. I like getting out in nature. Uh, can greatly increase your stress tolerance. All right, there you have it. The nine ways to boost your stress tolerance. But if you haven't already rated your stress tolerance down below, please do that before you leave. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan. Okay. If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.